Hi everyone, how are you? I'm Yusuf and today I will show you step by step how to set up a Tanda DSL modem router. Installation Connect DSL modem to telephone. Make sure that the telephone cable is connected into the back of your DSL modem in the line port and also connected to a telephone in the wall. And when you pick up your telephone, you should then have a dial tone if your phone is an active line. And then connect the SL modem to PC uh, with Ethernet cable. Configuration. Make sure your mobile phone or your computer is connected to the Internet. You will need to be connected to the Internet in order to access the router page by Wi-Fi or by Ethernet cable from your modem to your PC or laptop. Open a browser to access the router page. You can use Google Chrome, Internet Explorer, Mozilla Firefox or Safari from your iPhone. Enter the IP 192.168.1.1 and then press enter. This is the Tanda modem's default IP address. It's also the address for the router's web interface. Input the default username and password username admin and password admin and click OK click on system mode on the main menu and then check DSL uplink and click on apply then go to setup wizard and select your country name and area name typing in VPI VCI maybe 0, VPI, or 8, and VCI 35, which is from your ISP, the Internet Service Provider, and then click on Next. Then select your Internet Access Mode. If you don't know, please ask your ISP, the Internet Service Provider. When you have selected the right mode, just click on Next. If you choose PPPoE or PPPoA, you will see the following page. Select the correct access mode and click on next and then click on apply at the next page. Type in the username and password provided by your ISP, the internet service provider. Maybe the username L number or D number at IDM, at Siberia, at Sodatel, whatever uh, in the following page and then click on next and click on apply at the next page. If you choose RFC1 IPv4, you will see the following page. Select the correct access mode and click on next and then click on apply. If you choose bridging, typing in the information in the following page. Don't forget to click on next and click on apply. You will go to device basic info. Please check one interface info. If one IP address has been assigned, you can serve the internet now. Click on WLAN setting, then basic setting. Please change SSID, the network name, uh, the name of your Wi-Fi, to another name. Only numbers or letters can be included in. And then click on confirm. Click on WLAN setting, then advanced setting. Please select security option to WPA2, it's more secure, WPA2. Change select encryption protocol to AES CCMP protocol. Choose select authentication method to be PSK and then set the security key for Wi-Fi at WPA key phrase, at least 8 number or letters and then click next now you can use and surfing your internet if you like my video please leave a comment and subscribe to this youtube channel to stay up to date with my latest video thank you so much